all throughout our Google Sheets unit, it's going to be important that you check your comments that I'm going to be leaving for you on each sheet. And I wanted to just kind of review how comments work in the different Google apps. So first thing, um, you'll notice up in your notifications here that you'll have a new grade for Sheets Practice. So you can simply click on that, and that'll take you right to the assignment, and then open up your document. And I do suggest any time that we're working on any of the Google apps that you actually open your assignment by clicking the Edit button and opening up the sheet in its own tab. And then once you get there, um, you can basically just look down here at the bottom of the screen. And if you see a number on that sheet, that means there's a comment. So there's one comment on this one, there's four comments on that one. And generally comments mean there's something you need to improve. So I'm gonna click on sheet one here and I'm going to look for my comment. All I have to do is just mouse over the number down here or look for this orangish um, triangle, which would be um, a contrast with the black triangles that you'll see in the top right. So I can simply mouse over here and see that it tells me to read carefully. Okay, why do I need to read carefully? Because in that cell, it says to skinny plus sign drag from cell C1 to cell C7, and clearly I did not do that. So what I was supposed to do for C1, I was get the skinny plus sign, there it is, click and drag down to C7, and now it works just like it worked in column D and column E and column F. By the way, if your sheet one does not look like this, except with your name and your greeting and your month and so on, then um, you know you did it wrong. So check your comments and fix your mistakes. Sheet two, everything's good. I don't have any comments on there, but sheet three, I've got four comments. All right, and I can have them all show up at once, which makes them kind of difficult to read or simply just do them one at a time. So it says read carefully, type equals E, Oh, excuse me, A20, I know, read carefully, ironic, I didn't read carefully, equals A20. Is that what I typed? No, I typed A20. Then type what it says to type, which is why it says read carefully. If I go back and I type an equal sign there, I press enter, I get a surprise, just like it tells me I was going to in cell A3. If I go to cell B1, it says read carefully. Why does it say that? Because I didn't read carefully. And I need to go back and fix that. Um, some of you missed the whole point of sheet three, which was to show you how to set up formulas or equations in Google Sheets. This one says, read carefully. Why does it say that? Because I didn't read carefully. It tells me exactly what to type, and I didn't type that, okay? And then finally, this one says, you skipped this one, because I did. So let's see, what did I need to do? Uh, it says to type, oh, type an equation in cell D1 that will give you the answer to 13 times six. So that of course would be equals 13 times six. And when I do that, I get the answer to 13 times six. So once again, open up Sheets Practice um, in its own tab, check for my comments. If you don't understand my comments, simply send me a message. Tell me what class you are in, in your message. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can during my office hours. Let me know if you need any help.